Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna go over this self-sustaining fusion reactor-based power plant, which focuses on having two fusion reactors with infinite fuel supply. And basically, it produces 85 million Hg per second. This is from the James H24 of Nuclear Tech mod. You can also make this in the base version of the mod, but you won't get as much power as you will get in this version. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So I start this build with the deuterium extraction tower. Now as this build focuses on having two fusion reactors, you will need four extraction towers in total. Now in order to max out a deuterium extraction tower, you need to supply it with 100,000 millibuckets per second of water. And that will give you 2000 millibuckets per second of heavy water. So in order to get this amount of water, you need total 10 heavy infinite water barrels for each single deuterium extraction tower. So here I am going to speed this process up. On the back side of this extraction tower, I am going to add total 10 barrels and now connect them all with the fluid pipes. And basically you need to do this process for all of the extraction towers. So there we go, that's done for the single tower. And once all of the towers are completed, it will look something like this. Now all of these towers are maxed out. They will output each 2000 millibuckets per second of heavy water. Now in order to convert that heavy water into deuterium, we need the chemical factory. So for the chemical factory, the first template is the heavy water cryoelectrolysis, which will convert the heavy water into deuterium and liquid oxygen. And the second template is the normal cryoelectrolysis, which will convert water into hydrogen and oxygen. To get all of the heavy water out, I'm going to use the front side of the tower and basically connect it to the chemical factory like this. And once that's done, we will get heavy water in the chemical factory. Now, in order to supply water, you can use a single heavy infinite water or just for being safe you can also go with two heavy infinite water tanks and i'm not going to use auxiliary cooling towers or cooling towers in this build so i'm just going to void all of the low pressure steam in an infinite barrel now this is the main thing you need an overdrive 3 speed 3 speed 1 and power saving 3 upgrade in order to make this work once you do that this chemical factory will exactly consume 8000 millibuckets per second of heavy water every second which is exactly what we are producing. So the output will be deuterium and liquid hydrogen. Set the basically the plasma heaters to both of these fuels and then extend pipes from the chemical factory going into both of the plasma heaters. Now in the middle you can even have tanks as a buffer but I am just going to build this without any buffer. Now all is fine and good for heavy water but we are going to produce excess amount of liquid hydrogen. So basically we are going to produce 400 millibuckets excess liquid hydrogen every second. In order to burn that, I'm going to use four industrial generators and set them all to basically five millibuckets per tick, which will be 100 millibuckets per second for each industrial generator. And in this way, we can burn off the excess 400 millibuckets per second of the excess liquid hydrogen that we are producing. So 400 will go in the reactors and 400 will go in the generators. So that's the basic piping setup done. Now for power consumption, uh, let's connect some cables. And I'm going to divide them in two blocks. So you can see the individual power consumption for each of the section that we have built here. So for the fuel production, we have one line and here goes the battery block. Like if you are building this in survival, then you will have a single battery block going into all of these. But basically, yeah, each of the towers are consuming 200 HE per second, sorry, 200,000 HE per second. And the remaining 180 to 190,000 HE is being consumed by the chemical factory. So that's close to 1 million HE per second being consumed for fuel production. Now we are producing liquid oxygen, which we need to either you can vent it off or you can use for xenon production using the Lind xenon cycle. And xenon once again can be used with mercury as a very good fuel for the fusion reactor. 
so but that's basically something that we'll do in the future for now just vent off all of the liquid oxygen and now we can connect the second part of the power going into the plasma heaters and the fusion reactor so the plasma heaters and the fusion reactor will each consume 2 million hg per second so the total consumption of all the all these four components will be 8 million hg per second so that's the connection done for power and here let's have a second buffer in the form of a spark storage battery now right now it's showing 20 million hg but once all of it is full then the consumption will drop now for water i am going to use infinite barrels because this reactor the reactor basically in this part consumes a lot of water so yeah i'm just going to use infinite barrels the creative version not the one for water for supplying this with power sorry for supplying it with water and another thing that you need to supply these reactors is coolant of any sort so the coolant that i'm going for is blood once you supply it that's the end of the story you can break the barrel as coolant will just circulate between the reactors and the heat exchanger now for using all of the steam that we are going to produce i'm going to use a leviathan steam turbine you can use the industrial turbines for more efficiency but i'm going with leviathan so the very first turbine is set to steam second one to dense steam the third one to super dense and the fourth to ultra dense now do remember that i have left a single block gap between the normal steam and the dense steam turbine and that is for the steam which will come out of the boiler which will be set on the heat exchanger but for now just connect the top of the fusion reactor from where the ultra dense steam is going to come going into the last leviathan turbine which is going to process that so that's the line for ultra dense steam from both of the fusion reactors and also make sure to connect the power output like this now with that done let's make a secondary cycle for the coolant which in our case is blood so between the fusion reactors i'm going to place a heat exchanging heater with a boiler and in the heater set it to hot blood and each reactor will produce roughly 800 millibuckets per second and but basically just set it to the maximum value which is 9999 and one pipe set it to hot blood and another pipe set it to normal blood i have covered how the heat exchanging heater works so basically here we have two lines for circulating blood out of the reactors and once again back into it now for the boiler uh, a single heavy infinite water tank is enough and as this will produce normal steam let's combine it with the normal steam which will come out of the third turbine that is why we left a single block of space in the middle and set the entire line to steam like this so that's done and with that our boiler cycle is actually also complete so now we have completed all of the major pipe works all that remains is make sure to set the blankets in the fusion reactors and then turn them on and as soon as you turn them on they'll start filling up with the plasma hydrogen deuterium plasma and we'll start producing power now the fuel produced in this build is exactly what we are going to consume so you don't need to worry about any excess the only excess that we are producing is liquid oxygen here we are getting over 400,000 millibuckets per second of low pressure steam and the power produced as you can see is 85 million hg per second so yeah that's crazy amount of power but it kind of suits the fusion reactor after all it is an expensive machine now as for the power consumption as i told you 8 million hg per second for the fusion reactors right here and 1 million hg per second roughly for the extraction towers so that's 9 million hg in total which is far far less than what we are producing now if you are making this in the normal version you are going to get slightly less power and more power will be consumed but it's the same as you can see in this video so yeah if you like the build don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also comment down below what you would like to see next peace out 
and stay safe.